What's good, YouTube? It's your boy CJ Too Lit, and we back with another banger, man. So, uh, sad news again, man. You know, we've been posting all week about all of this stuff that's been going on. Uh, you know, there's been a lot going on in the media, a lot going on in hip hop, a lot going on in the streets, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, these guys, these rappers these days, you know, it's all about telling what you really are here doing in your raps. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, man, so basically, I come to bring y'all bad news again, um, and this is a very, very sad situation, man. Uh, so the title of this, uh, I got it from Revolt.com, a uh, very valid news source, um, and the title reads, Milwaukee rapper Fatboy Guala Guala found dead in burning car. Uh, his death is being investigated as a homicide. Um, now this was on may 19th 2021 7 28 p.m when this article was released um basically you know the police talked about it ruling it a homicide because of several reasons uh concerning the car being set on fire um and we'll get more into those details um as we read the article and we examine it uh but before we go ahead and get into this make sure you like this video also make sure you subscribe also make sure you turn on post notifications as well now with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get into this article and give y'all the information now the article reads it says milwaukee rapper fat boy guala guala was found dead inside of a burning vehicle in his hometown according to cbs 5 8 the victim whose name is lamon siang was found on tuesday may 18th the medical examiner has ruled his death a homicide and the milwaukee police are asking for everyone with information to come forward Fatboy Guala Guala's death is the latest loss that happened in hip hop. Recently, several rappers have been killed. Revolt previously reported that Bay Area Mike Carroll was fatally shot during a botched robbery in California last weekend. Also, um, I'm reading that off of this. Um, reading that off of this article, and I also just dropped a video on the Mike Carroll situation. Uh, so if you would go ahead and click that video as well. Uh, and make sure you give that a watch and a like and uh, a comment as well. I appreciate it. Uh, back to the article, it says, according to his family, the was walking his dog in front of his home when several suspects began to rob him as he fought back. Basically given the, you know, whole scenario with uh, Mike and what happened with him. Now, both of these scenarios are pretty sad and similar situations. Now, the thing about the fat boy Guala Guala situation is it's going to be very hard to solve. And I'll tell you several reasons why. First off, you got to think about who could have possibly set this car on fire, right? On top of that, you have no evidence that could be left possibly that would lead to anybody's doing this homicide or committing this homicide, right? All of the evidence will probably be burned along with the car, you know? Um, so that's why we really don't know what could be going on. Uh, what is really going on? Is somebody really behind this? Or was it just like a car malfunction or something like that? Which I highly doubt it was a car malfunction. Um, I'm pretty sure somebody, you know what I'm saying, had to be behind this. I mean, obviously somebody was behind it. They ruled it a homicide. So I'm pretty sure they're about to start going into deep investigation, trying to figure out what's going on. And uh, man, that's crazy. It's really a crazy situation with that, you know. Um, you know, he had a lot of hits, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. He, 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 we knew about that guy. You know what I'm saying? We knew about him. So, uh, you know, respects out to him, man. Um, his family, condolences to his family. May he rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? May he rest in peace. Um, and you know, we gotta, we gotta stop all of this, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like th the third post today. I had a post about somebody either getting shot or killed or stabbed or something. You know what I'm saying? I just posted about somebody getting shot in Atlanta this morning. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, I think it's Kenny Money uh, from Memphis. You know what I'm saying? He got shot in uh, Atlanta just riding around in the Mercedes Benz. You know what I'm saying? Just regular old day, you know? Um, so, yeah, man, it's going to be real crazy. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a real crazy summer. Uh, there's no telling, honestly, what's going to happen. There's no telling. Um, but it doesn't look good with Lil Reese getting hit up. And, you know, him him still being alive is going to really change the floor for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I think that whole rumor about him being blind in the left eye was pretty wrong as well. Uh, I heard about that too. That was basically saying that he can still see and all of that. But 
I guess we'll get into those details too. Um, as well as Pop Smoke's situation as well. I know y'all heard about the new details about his situation being released. Um, and that's a whole big situation with the 15 year old. And we'll tell you why. I mean, honestly, if you look at the whole situation, it's a setup. The 15 year old is obviously, you know what I'm saying, underage. So he's not going to get that adult charge. And he's the one who actually shot Pop Smoke. The other ones were just there. You know what I'm saying? They didn't shoot anybody. They didn't hit anybody or do nothing. They were just robbing the home. Um, and these simula- these situations were similar, you know, because the, with Mike's situation, he was robbed. You know what I'm saying? Robbed. Um, and so, you know, we got to start paying attention to these situations. And, you know what I'm saying? Making a change. Um, and, you know what I'm saying? And we got to do better. You know what I'm saying? And when we begin to do better and we we see it, you know what I'm saying? And we can come together as a people and, and do the right thing together. You know what I'm saying? And I, th- I think when people understand that we don't have to go pick up a gun and shoot the next person because of anything. You know what I'm saying? When people start realizing that, then the world will be a better place. But it don't look like they're going to ever get it. But hopefully one day they do. <laughs> um... And that's really, you know, all up to God and whatever he got planned. So, but yeah, man, that's all I got for y'all today, man. It's your boy CJ Too Lit. Make sure you subscribe. Also, make sure you turn on post notifications as well. So you can be notified every time I upload a new video, which is every single day. Also, make sure you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Also, share this video out to all your friends. Let them know what's going on. Keep everybody updated with what's going on in hip hop. Also, make sure you share this channel out as well. Um, And that's all the content we got for y'all today, man. We're going to see y'all tomorrow. Peace.